it's Monday. Welcome to another episode of Goat Life TV where we show you a little bit from our day-to-day -day lives. Today we're gonna go around the property here and pick some tropical fruits. First up, guava. So this is the guava tree here and there's so many little ones that aren't quite ripe but I've been eyeing up this one now for a couple of weeks and it's finally ready to be picked. So here it is, a nice guava. I'm gonna put it inside in the ripening drawer for just a couple more days and then it should be ready to eat. All right, let's go get some mango. Okay, the mango tree is pretty much picked clean, but there is, uh, oh, there's two actually. There's one here and there's a couple up at the top. So we're gonna get the stick and try to bang down a couple of them. Oh, that one's high. <laughs> Oh, nice! Oh, you should have caught it. <laughs> okay, there's one more fruit I'm gonna pick, and it's the aptly named star fruit. There's tons of them on this tree. Oh, here it is. Definitely looks like a star. Let's bring it inside and cut it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this unripened mango and the guava into our ripening drawer, and then in about two or three days, they should be good to go. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Let's check on the fruit and see if it's ripe. Guava, good. And the big mango is not quite ripe, but we do have another smaller one that is, so we'll use this one. All right, so we got our mango and our guava, and Doris also picked this star fruit off the tree outside. It's in the shape of a star, pretty aptly named. So I'm gonna do the guava, my favorite fruit. Um, pretty simple, just put it down on the board, and with this is a pretty dull knife, but it'll work. And you just cut it open. It's got this really nice fleshy inside, and uh, these seeds are actually really hard, and you can't really chew them, but you just swallow them whole when you eat the whole guava. Uh, but this fruit is so sweet and you can eat the rind as well. So just cut it into a few pieces, put it on the plate. And we also already rinsed all of this off because there's birds all over the place outside and you never know what you've got on your fruit. So there you go. Okay, next up is the mango. Let's go like this. And you just cut it down the side along the center core a bit like that. Cut off the other side as well. And then you take the half, score it like it's like a, I don't know, checkerboard or grid. Do it the opposite way. And then you just push it up. Ooh, voila! Looks nice, you can just eat it with a spoon. Okay, so the center rind bit of the mango is really hard, so if you just peel off the skin, you can't eat the whole thing, but you can just eat this very outer layer which is very sweet. All right, the last fruit that we got here is the star fruit. Pretty easy to cut. Um, you just gotta take out these outer ridges, so just cut them off along the seam. All right, and then you also gotta cut off the end bits here and here. They've got the core in there, not so tasty. And then I'll just cut it with this knife. All right, and you can see why they're called star fruit. They're in the shape of a little star. Toss these on the plate here. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. <laughs> Put these on the plate, and this is nutmeg syrup, very famous in Grenada. Delicious syrup made from the nutmeg spice. You just drizzle a little bit on top of the star fruit because they can be a bit tart. And then we're ready to eat our plate of fruit. Okay, I'm gonna give this mango a try. Just take a spoon, and it makes it really easy to eat these little squares. Mmm, it's so sweet. All right, and I'm gonna actually have a piece of star fruit. And these can be a little bit bitter, so we usually let them soak in a nutmeg syrup overnight, but I'll have a try. Mm. Good? A little bit sour, but not bad. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And the guava? Very soft, soft, and delicious. Pretty awesome to have all this stuff right in our backyard. Thanks for tuning in to Goat Life TV. Come back next week for another episode. We've been getting a great response from this Goat Life TV, so thank you everyone. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. See you next week.